Hello everyone, this is Anna Carter at Rose Riverway Studio and I'm here for this week's five minute watercolor painting tutorial. So today we are going to paint a simple rose and I'm using just normal watercolor paper. This is number five brush and I've got uh, water, paper towel, and my paints. So I always start with getting my paintbrush wet and then I am going to start with red today. We'll just do a classic red rose. So I'm getting some paint on here. Um, I like to start, it's always good to start uh, light to dark um, as far as color value. So I've pulled out some of that color. So I have just a very um, light, faint red. Okay, so I like to start in the center of my rose. And I'll just do a few kind of random little dots and that defines the center there. And then from there on out, I'm going to do just small arcs and they will start small and then I will gradually make them larger. Um, it's nice to overlap these arcs. These are the petals we're defining here. I start with light pressure and then I push my brush down and gently lift it back up again. And that gives me that um, different width. And I'll just keep building them outwards. And I would like this rose to be pointing upwards slightly. So I am going to focus most of my larger petals on the bottom edge here. And that will give the impression that our flower is pointed upwards. So I do thinner petals at the top and I do less of them. Like this. And then I'm going to do a couple larger ones. And it's okay if the petals touch each other slightly. You'll get what's called a slight bleed effect. And that's where the two petals will run into each other because they are both wet. Okay, so I'm happy with the shape of my rose. Now, if I want to add um, some more character, I can go back to my red and get a, a heavier value of color in there. So if I touch my paper over here, it's a really bright red. Okay, so I'm just going to poke in slightly more color into some of these wet petals. Just in whatever area I feel like should have more or less um, shading to it. So I'm just playing with the wet on wet here. There we go. Now I've got a little bit of color and I can pull around anything I've already put in there. As long as it's wet, it will move. Okay. Now I'm happy with that and I'm going to really carefully clean my brush because I'm going to move on to green. And green includes yellow and blue. So I don't want to get a muddy color. So I want to have a really clean brush. Um, if you mix the primary colors together, so red, blue, and yellow, then you will end up with uh, brown. So to avoid that, I made sure to mix all the red out. And now I've got green on my brush. And I start with a wider stem at the top. And then I'm pulling it down. Maybe add a little wiggle or two. And I'm going to do just a leaf or so. I like to leave in um, some white inside of the leaves and that gives me a slight um, stem vein look. 
So there you have it. There is our five minute rose tutorial. Hope you have fun and subscribe if you'd like to see next week's and all continuing weeks. Thanks again. Anna Carter from Rose River Way.